If you are watching this video, you are most probably interested in the Cubetics blockchain ecosystem. If you are interested in the dashboard, continue watching. For the blockchain, start watching around 2 minutes 30. For tokens, it's around 8 minutes 15. For validators, it's around the 12 minute mark. For nodes, get to about 12.50. For contracts, it's 13.44 and the faucet is found at 15.42. Hello everyone, I'm Wynne, the CTO of the Cubetics Network. And if you are watching this recording, you're probably interested in monitoring your blockchain activities in real time. So you can go through each and every section to find your transaction hash or message transaction address block, block hash, and many more details about the Cubetics blockchain itself. So let's begin. At first, as you can see, we can access the dashboard from the display. Alpha Testnet Explorer Cubetics.org. But you know dashboard, and as you can see, there's some data around here. So we have different sections, dashboard, blockchain, tokens, validators, nodes, and contracts, and false set. So we will go through them one by one, and we'll show you how you can leverage this to your own needs and to find and monitor the transactions or contract addresses, etc. And the one things that, the many things that you want to see in the Cubetics network. So one of the most important parts here is the dashboard, which we usually uh, used in the search bar, as you can see here. You can search by transaction hash, uh, address, address block, block hash, and verify contracts uh, through here, or verified contracts through here. So the contract addresses, uh, externally owned addresses, or even transaction hashes, all can be used here. And you can find the required transaction, for example, just by searching here. And there are some on-chain metrics, as you can see, like ticks price and last finalized block transaction and uh, transactions here and market cap. So you have some more information and an additional information when you hover on this. And you can read through this and see what it's talking about. So here there are different sections and you can see there's a graph of transaction history. As you can see, 4,035 transactions, 4,036 have been waiting seven days. And you can put, for example, 30 days or one year uh, and latest transactions and blocks and you can access them here. So all the details can be done by clicking here and you can view all the transactions and how to go about transaction sections and you can look at them block by block. Now it's loaded, you can see on-chain analytics. So in this case, average block time, circulating supply, total validators, average APY and total accounts that have been made. All the details are here and you can see them section by section. And of course, all the other things such as metrics like graphs, and you can see here today's price, today's coin transfers, total accounts and transaction fees. And all have this ability to be seen in seven days, 30 days, uh, or any other interval, for example, one year intervals. Okay, let's uh, move to the next part, which is uh, important here, and that's adding the Cubetics network. So if you have a MetaMask, right click here and you can activate and start using Cubetics straight away so the only thing you need to do is just click on this and wait a couple of moments and as you can see the MetaMask is brought up and uh, it's asking you to go to the test net and this is the currency symbol and this is the RPC URL which you're going to connect to so you click approve to add the network and it was successful and as you can see, there's a tick which shows that it's connected successfully. So there it is. Okay, 
Moving on to the next section, we have the blockchain section, which you click on, you see here, blocks, transactions. So we'll go through blocks first. So here we can see the latest block, top validator, block time, and down below it has a table of blocks so you know uh, plus verified and time stats, uh, block hash, transaction count, uh, validator, uh, which verified block has been verified. So you have all the details here. And uh, as you can see on these other pages, you can go through them one by one. So for example, uh, if you want to go through one of the blocks to see the blocks details, you can click here, for example, you can see there's a block hash which you can uh, click on and go to this and there's uh, all the, doc the details, the block number, the validator, the timestamp and other information can also be seen in this transaction detail. But this part doesn't have any transactions so it's showing no data. I'll show you later on how you can see these transactions in detail in a block that actually has some transactions in it. So as you can see in this block hash, you have to copy paste it and uh, you can compute search as you can see here. Uh, it's found the block, if I just paste it in here, uh, you can search in it and you can see that it finds it and you'll be directed here again. So that's uh, all about the blockchain section. So let's move on to the next uh, tab, which is transactions, okay? So here it shows a transaction summary, total number of transactions in the network, which is 4,043 right now at the moment uh, of this video. Transactions per last day, 30 days, which is the same amount for now, and active accounts for today, which was 36. Here you have to go, or you have the ability to go from the oldest to the newest. Uh, in this table and there are some transactions as you can see here here's the transaction hash the type of transaction which uh, which coin was transferred here the block the from the two the timestamps the transaction fee the fee value and of course the status as you can see you can go through the blockchain and see which block this transaction has been minted on and when it loads as you can see right here the same information as the same previous but this one is there's a tiny difference um, because uh, this one says one and uh, gas used says 21,000 and as you can see in this transaction or in the transaction details here, here, here are all those details okay let's uh, move on to this transaction and see for ourselves so you can see the status uh, shows success transaction hash from to block number uh, amounts all the data is here okay back to the transactions tab as you can see you can go through it by using transaction hash from to and here there are different links or even blockchain and now you can click on these different links to see the details of each one of course you can move to other pages and see other transactions uh, there okay so uh, now that we've done that, we've gone through all the blocks and transactions, the uh, next part is tokens. So here's the total uh, tracker, or the token tracker, I'm sorry, which uh, tracks the ERC-20s and says total tokens are 124. Most of them are ERC-20s, but there are also some ERC-21s, uh, sorry, some ERC-721s, as can be seen, for example. Uh, so let's just see some ERC-20s. My token contract, uh, contract details, total supply, uh, holders, and when you click on it, it shows the details of the contracts. As you can see, the name is uh, my token. Um, the contract address is here. Times your balance, creator, and some other information that's uh, executed or deployed at internal transaction count, and of course the transaction hash for creating this token. And also you have some summary here, so some token information like total names, decimal, symbol, and total supply, of course. Lots of details here, like transactions, 
transaction holder, events, contracts, and analytics. So let's get back to the token section. Let's move to an older token. Uh, so for example, I guess this one is a good example. Uh, for this token, you can see it has a name, has a contract address, and also two internal transactions, symbol. It looks like the symbol has been made by a developer. So you can see the symbol here, uploaded by the developer. Transactions made on this token, which was minted from this address to this address, which was successful in this block. So you can see the transaction. There are two holders here. So there are 99, almost 100% owned by one person, and then 3,000 tokens for another. There are some events for this token. So as you can see, you go through the details here, decimal over hexadecimal, and you can explore these details by just clicking on them. For example, minting was addressed from or to unit 256 value. So decimal, hexadecimal, both options are available. When you go to contract, you see it was uh, partially verified and uh, you have some details here, EVM version, uh, optimization run, uh, the compiler uh, version and whether the optimization was enabled. There are different details for these. Um, for example, the final contract, that's the ABI. This is the contract creation code, and this is the deployed byte code just coming up here. Uh, you can copy paste this, uh, all of this and use them as, as needed. Okay, the last part is analytics, which is due to be launched, which gives you a token contract overview and historical price. So when we have gone through the token section, we can also search for token name and address. For example, by searching this, the address is shown here. Uh, after clicking enter, you can also search on uh, phantom. So for example, add that here. And search and the token name phantom so there it is so I think that's about it we're now going on to the validator section so as you can see we have on-chain APY right here total validators bonded rate and active validators so generally some useful information about the validators of the Cubetics network at the moment you can see these validators being here each has voting power, delegators, self-bound, which means the amount of tokens that are bound to each other, the commission they are taking for running the node as a validator. It says all four are active. Okay, so we're gonna to go to the uh, next section now. And this is the, the node section. So uh, there's some information about the nodes, uh, the Cubetics network nodes for this geographic uh, graphic down to, uh, I think it's Singapore. Yes, uh, yes, it's Singapore. Uh, so we have seven Cubetics nodes running in four countries. This shows some node performance parameters, for example, block height, bonded coins, last block, and total number of accounts, TBP. Some further details like series number, are found below uh, and some other details are node addresses node name and on this right hand column uh, you can see some of the location of each node so some useful inf useful information here status of the network and performance so if we move to uh, another section for example contracts EVM chain contract total contracts, uh, contracts uh, which are ERC20 contracts, uh, which are ERC721, and contracts which you can see are 1155. So you, you can see some very useful information about the contracts. For example, these are ERC20s, but the last one is an ERC721. So you have the contract address, transaction hash, 
last executed at, deployed at, and of course the status which is verified or pending. So let's look at this uh, contract, the ERC721 contract. If I click on the contract, it will bring up for me the contract details. So here's the name of the contract address, the type, the balance, etc. All the details. As you can see, this one doesn't have any information on it. And as you can see, it's not verified. So uh, we are sort of showing you the deployed bytecode. It also has the option to verify and publish, which by click clicking on, you'll be redirected to here, which is, uh, which is the next, uh, actually the last uh, section, verify contract. So it asks you to enter the contract details and then verifying and publish. It then asks for some more details, for example, the contract address, the compiler version or type of version, the open source license that we have in license. So you just click agree and hit next and then go on to the next steps. Okay, last but not least is the token icon. So it's just simply you put the contract address here and also entering the URL of your icon here. Then when you click submit, you can uh, change your icon or your symbol. Finally, we come to the faucet section. So as you can see here, here is the testnet chain faucet. Each address is eligible for receiving 20 ticks, uh, 20 ticks coins per day. And it's very simple to do. Enter your wallet address here, go through the capture, and then hit send. So I'm testing it out right now. So I click on copy, copy to paste the address, I paste it here, I click on the capture, go through the process, uh, it's all good, and then I click send. It's in the process of sending the tokens, and then hopefully the transaction will be done successfully. Yep, it looks good, okay, uh, it worked, so let's go to the wallet and see if, uh, if the 20 ticks are there. Yep, that looks good. So let me just uh, test it again to see what happens. So if I click send, and this time it gives me an error. And this message is uh, telling you that there's only one con uh, transaction allowed every 24 hours. So if you have a limit for now, uh, do bear that in mind when you're working with your token. So I hope this tutorial was of some use for you. Please join our community if you have any further questions uh, that you may wish to raise. I would encourage you to go through these links in your own time and go through the reward system, uh, which you can see on the right hand side. And this reward program is there for you. If you encounter any bugs, this will get reported back to the developer team and hopefully you get rewarded for it. So please go through each section on your blockchain journey. Feedback your comments. And this will help us develop the blockchain even further. It just remains for me to say thank you very much for listening.